So I think a, a quick wish would be that we would have a common data standard and common protocols across the commercial industry and government so we can actually accomplish things as quick as possible, right? That's so for that's, your, your NIST panel member so over that, there. That, that, would be, right? that, that, yeah. would be, that would be a quick wish, but Pete's I'll talk about it. Josh is going to come join the supercluster. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you know. I think, but the vision would be actually like, so we can put all the IoT devices we want out, out in the field and put them into play. And I think that's going to be the easy step. And bring that ga using gateways to get that data back into the cloud environment I discussed earlier, that's, that's also going to be the next level step. But how do we take the structured and unstructured data and put it in an environment in a way that we can run all the analytics, the AI, and the machine learning we want onto it to get into a predictive world? And I'm not talking black swan predictive events. I'm talking uh, strategic resource allocation. How can I say with some level of certainty that you know, from a strategic perspective, uh, the shift is going on for the day. We can say, hey, we're going to move guys into this area because we foresee this may be where patterns are coming to. Or do we move agents from sector and deploy them differently based on information that's coming in? Um, you know, taking data from the agents as the sensor and taking data from the sensors themselves to correlate that all back together is, is really our scope and where we're going to derive the most value. And then to the final edge piece is, if uh, we have agents on the ground who are walking and, and following a trail and, and looking for a group of what they believe to be smugglers in front of them and then they cross the threshold, can that system then provide them and say, you know, with this level of certainty based on these other activations we received, you should 60% go this direction, 40 go this, and then can they work with their partners to determine the best response to that activity? And I think that's kind of where we're going within the next few years. And, and if we can get there, great. And if not, if we can break down some of those, those data span standards problems we have, then maybe we'll get there in four or five. Fantastic. I would imagine it will also, uh, you know, it's a big safety issue for the officers and for, you know, folks that are out there that, that, are, that are in that environment that's a r really a sparse environment. So I think yeah. Yeah, having that kind of technology to, to, to make everyone aware and informed is going to be powerful. I think everything we're trying to do right now is to make the agents safer on the ground. And if we can make them more efficient, we can make them safer and we can make sure that they have the backup they need in the most timely manner we can give it to them.